Okay, you're here with Matt Stanford from the Canola Council for Canola School on realagriculture.com. Uh, now Matt's going to be talking about uh, the first application of uh, herbicide. The research that's been done at Ag Canada Research Stations has shown that early weed removal in canola is very critical to maximizing yield. So what producers are one, going to want to do is get out into their fields and scout and see what stage their canola is at. Because depending on what growth stage their canola is at, it may dictate what sort of herbicide rates you can use in crop without causing any injury. Also, you want to get out there and make sure that you know what different weeds you've got to, that you're dealing with in those fields. And that way you can tailor your herbicide package to what you've got in the field. Um, in this field, there's a little bit of kochia here. There was a dandelion over there. There's a little bit of wild oats or grass of some sort there. So um, in this case here, we're starting to get into that, you know, first true leaf stage. The odd one's pushing the second true leaf out, but some of them are still in the cod leading stage. So we're gonna wanna be checking our blue book or our herbicide uh, guide in our province see what we can use on canola of that growth stage and then try to tailor the rate accordingly to what we've got here with our weed spectrum we're dealing with in each specific field. So with canola, canola can be quite variable at times in terms of especially early on. Um, how, how do we determine the stage? I guess it's kind of hard that way. There probably is no specific good stage that you're probably never going to get it down to oh this is the third true leaf stage there is always going to be a range like you mentioned so you got to just kind of figure out what your range is working in and typically you're working within a two leaf range and so you're either in that cod leading to two leaf stage or you're in the first true leaf to the third true leaf stage so you're kind of working in that two leaf range sort of that way um, so for this field here Mm -hmm. um, we can see the staging. Um, are we are we good to spray here then to yeah. start spraying for these weeds? For sure, yeah. And um, this this field, I you know, it, I guess it, it is Roundup ready, so you're going to be able to spray it at the cod leading stage, and it's not going to really cause much for issues. You're just going to want to make sure your rate is not too high. Uh, I believe that the rate that you, you're allowed to spray is up to three quarters equivalent rate in Roundup Ready Canola. So okay. making sure you're not going over that. And so if this was a, if this was a clear field variety, uh, where would we be at? I guess with the clear field system, it is a little bit trickier because you only do really get that one shot at your broad leaves anyways. And what's been showing up in Western Canada this year is uh, we're seeing the grassy leaf, grassy weeds, sorry, coming on faster than the broadleaf weeds. Mm -hmm. And so with the Liberty Link package and the Clearfield package, what I've heard producers doing is coming in with just a broadleaf, or sorry, with just the grassy leaf, grassy weed, <laughs> with just the grassy weed herbicide and killing the grassies off and then waiting for that rain shower to get those broadleafs growing before they're going in with the broadleaf chemical. Okay. So there are there are options that way in terms of splitting the application. It's going to be twice as much work and potentially two passes over the field where you maybe only would have done one. But getting out there and knowing what weeds you're dealing with, it can help you manage that properly. Every year is not the same. Exactly. Every year is different. You so with the liberty, with if this was a liberty uh, variety. Uh, so in vigor variety, we would be uh, waiting as well, or maybe going with the, what, what would be the strategy for the Liberty? I guess in the Liberty system right now, um, there are a few grassies, but there's also the broad leaves, like you've got kochia that's starting to get fair sized here. Um, so you don't want to wait too long on that kochia for sure. So in this situation, because there are the grassies and some broad leaves coming, you probably could do it all in one shot. I think that would probably be the strategy in this field. but. Um, there are some situations where I've heard of where there's absolutely no broad leaves growing whatsoever and there's just some wild oats, uh, green foxtail and those sorts of weeds that are coming quite strong but no broad leaves at all. So you got, yeah, just getting out there and making sure you know what's happening in your specific fields is going to be key. Thanks a lot, Matt.